our basic proclamation is that God saves us by grace. That, that, is our, that is at the heart of what we're about. And then our life together as a community, as a faith community, is our response to that grace. So that we seek to be God's loving and healing hands in this Catonsville community and even in the, the wider world. We were looking for a church that had a good balance, um, had uh, you know, both a good representation. You know, you had young people, but you also had older people. A church that was vibrant, a church that, you know, seemed like it was growing, uh, and a church that was friendly, you know, that wasn't just so into the, just lit liturgy that, you know, it, you kind of lost the whole sense of, you know, the spirit of the people. like how active Salem is and how many different programs and councils and activities we have here for everyone. We have things for children and um, teenagers, young adults, and um, the older part of the congregation. There's just something for everyone. Um, there's a lot of community outreach and um, I really, I, my favorite part is obviously the music program. I think I'm most involved in it and it's um, especially the choir has been like a family to me. Let us now witness their promises to each other and surround them with our prayers, giving thanks to God for the gift of marriage. It's a very diverse um, congregation, and one of the things I like about having a diverse con congregation is everybody's interests are kind of they're not mutual, they're just like everyone's interests are different, but they overlap with everyone. So you're connected with someone who's connected with another person like through um, their interests. So if I'm interested in something, I can talk with someone about that subject. And then if I'm interested in something else, I can talk to someone else about that subject. So Thomas James, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son. And it's not a big smile, right? No, it's not. Not a sign for a touchdown? No. It's for a pool. You are exactly right. That's really for a pool. What about you and I? How do we get through this life? Who do we look for for help? Who are you looking for for help? Who do we call out to for help? Not a swindle. We came into Salem and just wow, from the get go when we walked in the door, all these people started coming up and immediately and just so welcoming and just very, very friendly. Um, the dynamic was incredible. You know, you saw young, old, you know, little kids, you know, it just, just this just robust kind of congregation. How many pancakes? Uh, three, please, if you've got them. Oh, we got them. We got okay. plenty. Yeah, yeah. I met Gary at the beginning. It's Tim Crowns. This place is full of life uh, in all forms. Everybody that I've met is, certainly everybody that I've met is extremely accepting and extremely interesting in a good way.
when I first came to Salem, I was a little intimidated because it's a larger church than what I played for previously. And so much music, and I thought, oh, how am I ever going to keep up? But I'll tell you, the people, you ask for a flute, you have a flute. You ask for a trumpet, you have a trumpet. You ask, and it, it's usually done in some way. The, the willingness here and the friendliness and, and, uh, and the ability to get things done is remarkable. And it's been a joy to work here and, and worship with the people at Salem. And with the moon above it's wonderful, wonderful in every way. So they One of the things that I think um, causes Salem to be so appealing to folks is um, that it really does make a statement in our community. Our building is open almost all the time for a number of different groups, but at the same time we have uh, these wonderful worship services and wonderful committees that really work on the mission of God. We do a lot of reach out, um, outreach to um, causes around the world. We're highly involved with Lutheran World Relief um, and the Lutheran Immigration and Refugee Service. Um, some of our members actually even work there, so that's, that's a great opportunity. Um, and I think the other thing that encourages people to be here is we um, really hold true to the Lutheran doctrine and we welcome um, a variety of people from different walks of life into our midst and um, encourage them to take part um, wherever in any way that they would want to with our congregational life. Our God is a God that brings life from death, a God that remembers the poor and the brokenhearted, a God whose love cannot be constrained by doctrine or dogma, a God who is defined by forgiveness and second chances. Even though we have the wonderful, beautiful, comforting trappings of the traditional religious service, we have you know, our beautiful altar, we have a sung liturgy, we have things that we do in each church service that are familiar, um, which I find very comforting and enjoyable, and I think the kids over time learn to do too. Um, I think that's true of Sunday school. They get all that stuff, but it's all in a really, really positive framework. Even though, you know, we follow a lot of perhaps theologically mainstream traditional stuff. I think one thing that's unique and wonderful about Salem is that I find that we all, it's always focusing on the positive message of God in our lives and what Jesus taught us. And, you know, I never hear a sermon and feel that I'm being beaten over the head, like you're doing something bad and you're going to go burn. That never happens at Salem. It's always a message of God is here, God is wonderful, God can do great things in your lives, you can do great things in the world as a result of that, of letting God in. It's such a powerful, uplifting, and empowering message for the adults, and I think and that's how the Sunday school works too. Today is, in the, is it in November? Nice, yes. I had um, Spider-Man cake. You had a Spider-Man cake, nice, yes. Um, I want my soccer tournament and come and rejoice. Come and rejoice. Give thanks, give thanks to our Lord and Savior Jesus. Come and rejoice. Come and rejoice. Give thanks, give thanks to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Overall, our experience here at Salem is one of family just a huge, loving environment. Um, always acceptance, no matter where you are in your life, no matter where you've come from or where you're headed. Um, no, regardless of what your political views are, regardless of what 
your preferences in life are, you, you're welcome here and you're always welcome at the Lord's table, which I think is the most I, it just unifying part of us. It's a wonderful feeling to have a home that treats you that way, knowing that you can fall, but you'll always be welcomed back no matter what. And so I, I, think, that's, I think that's the most charming part of, of our congregation overall is just the sense of welcoming and love and acceptance. If you know something about American Christian practice, we are traditional uh, Lutheran worship, um, so that you'll see uh, our pastors in vestments, uh, we have Holy Communion at every service, uh, we sing more traditional hymns. On Sunday morning, it's what we would call liturgical. Uh, the people are diverse. Uh, we are from all over the place. For instance, on Pentecost, we uh, read the uh, lesson out of the Bible in our uh, native languages, and we actually have about a dozen different native speakers. Uh, so folks that were coming from Iceland and Africa and all over the place, and all over the states too. Uh, we're not uh, uh, born and bred Lutherans, we come from all different Christian traditions. And it's one of our strengths, our diversity is really a wonderful gift from God. Look at this. I mean, this is stuff that we do. You know, these quilts are made, you know, for the people in, in the Sudan and, and uh, uh, oh, even in the Caribbean and Haiti and so forth. You know, not just because we, we want to do quilts, you know, uh, uh, it's because it's making a difference in people's lives. I think one of our characteristics is we embrace all kinds of different people and different ways of thinking. So what gathers us together is not uniform thinking. We're not all Democrats, we're not all Republicans, we don't all agree on all the social issues. What gathers us together is our love for Jesus and, and our desire to be in mission for the sake of the world. That's what gathers us together.